So we only know the impact is actually coming to the Switch, but we actually have someone actually found a code for a Nintendo Switch version. It says default zero iOS PC Android. Android. This is a version on the Android PS4, PS5, and Switch. I don't understand why people think you know people think that there was this article I was going around that rumor the game is delayed. I think that game. I think the game was originally meant to like release so like around July because it is like a free game. I think they're gonna release it later in the year. That's what I think I mean by delay. They're gonna delay it by a couple of months, basically to get the game running perfectly on the Switch because the Switch is a weird hardware to develop for. It is a pretty weird hardware because the on the you know because you have to develop for two ver modes for the Switch. You develop on the handheld mode and on the TV. That's why Switch development is so difficult for many people, for many developers. Any developers can do it easily, okay? Because their games don't really have much graphically demanding games. But when I talk about, I say graphics matter. I'm talking about, you know, putting more graphically demanding games. Let's just say, for example, let's just say The Wits of Free, okay? The Wits of Free is one of those games that is graphically demanding. Ark Survival Evolved is graphically demanding. And Ark was poor on Switch, and Ark was a pile of shit on Switch because the graphics were so bad on the Switch, you know, it runs even worse on, like, the worst PCs. Okay, and on the world's PCs it wants me, but I played Ark on the on my computer. It ran super bad because my computer is pretty outdated. Okay, there. Okay, but try to play you know a game like a game that isn't graphically demanding, like Crash Four. Crash Four isn't graphically demanding. Minecraft is a graphically demanding game either. Minecraft was ported to Wii U, and the Wii U is Wii even weaker than the Switch. Okay, because on the TV the Switch actually is 1080p. But on the handheld mode, it's the same level as the Wii U, okay? But you're talking about graphical demanding games like, you know, Call of Duty, the new Call of Duty games, most of the next-gen games, okay? Doom Eternal, which was, which was ported only digitally on the Switch. You know, do, you know, Doom Eternal is a pretty graphically demanding game as well. And now we have Genshin Impact, which is on the lower side of graphically demanding. I highly doubt that Genshin Impact would be... There, but yep. There we go about this week of Genshin Impact for the Switch. Goodbye.